This is Craft Room Crash, and I'm outside DIYer Laura Hupka's house. Now, she's a couture milliner. Yeah, she makes hats, and she says she lets the materials speak to her when considering what type of hat to make. So, let's go crash her craft room and find out what they're talking about today. Hey, Jane. Hey, Laura. Come on in. All right. Come on in. Oh, wow, this is great. This is the craft room. It's fabulous. Thanks. My name is Laura Hupka, and I'm a couture milliner. I make women's hats. This is actually the sunroom of our house. It was never really meant to be a home studio. It's the only place in the world that I legitimately lose all sense of time. It's my favorite place on earth. Milliners are hoarders with really beautiful hoards. So there's fabrics, there's buttons, there's everything. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't a hat maker. My hands are always in motion. It's, it's like a disguised, disorganized mess. Absolutely. You never know that you've got all your supplies in here. Sure. And are these all the hats that you're making? Look at they this, is are. so great. Thank you. I mean, the woman in the hat is always the woman who's photographed. It's just a really elegant way to show confidence and to get attention. Have you been called by the royalty in Kensington Palace no. to make any of their hats? My phone is on. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> it's a very sexy thing when a woman wears a hat and she feels good. How do you know which hat to try on? Well, how do you know which hat? They say it takes 10,000 hours to be a master of your craft. And by my estimation, I've surpassed 10,000 hours and I still think I learn something new every day. So we are going to make a fedora today. So we're gonna kind of walk you through the steps of it. Okay, let's get cracking. Let's do it. Can I sit in the chair? Absolutely. Okay, great. So first, we're going to select our material. This is kind of like a, a painter's canvas. You select your color, you select your material. Can't I just wear the hat like this? Um, if you look at Marc Jacobs, you can, because pretty much this is what he has on the runway half the time. Do you think that he just did this, like, for the last did. design? Yeah, and then charged $400 for it, so there you go. Next, we are going to heat it and steam it, and we're going to shape it over the hat block. So, we're going to take our base material. I'm going to ask you to spray it. This is actually just filled with water. Uh -huh. So, I roll it together, kind of let that soak in just a little bit, and then we're going to put it on the steamer. And actually, we're gonna put a plastic bag on top of it oh. to help the steam penetrate a little faster. So while that's cooking, what is this? It's actually a fedora block. Cool. So this is just the base, right? Yep, this and is then... called a spinner, so that it's kind of like a dolly on a serving tray so that we can maneuver the block around while we're making the hat. Okay, it's Woo. hot. hot. Ready? Hot, 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 hot. Okay, so you're gonna start oh. pulling. Yeah, it's stretching over the top. Yep, so take your hands and kind of mold it up here and then pull the fullness out the bottom. So we're gonna put some steam on here. So do you want this to be totally flush with that? Well, wow. not now. We're gonna get it tight down here and then we're gonna kind of cinch a cord on here like it's I almost see. like a belt. So is that too tight? Nope, you want it as tight as you can. Okay, I've done it tight. Yes. All right, so steam one more time. Hit me with some steam. Hit you with more steam. Steam it up. And there's a little white stick over there that has kind of a point to it. This one? Yep, we're gonna use that to kind of draw in where the crown meets the brim. Ready? So this one goes around yep, here. Yep, that one yep. goes around. You got it. Yes. Perfect. This is awesome. Right. And we're gonna hit the top with steam one more time. Give me with some steam. More steam, last call. You grab that brush that's next to you. We're this gonna one? give it a little brush. Like get this? some of those loose fibers out of oh. our way. <gasps> She's doing it. She's doing it. All right, now we need one more cord. We're gonna make sure it's centered. We're gonna hit it with steam one last time. Wow. Hour. That's so, it. So that's it. You just it. blocked a hat, Jane. So uh, I know it's a little bit damp, but like how long do you wait? Do you give it 24 hours? Do you give it five hours? You wanna dry fast? No, I wanna drink coffee. <laughs> So we took this off the mold so it's ready to get its wires. And we're going to very gently put it right in that ridge there. Can you feel how it wants to go in? Uh, yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna let you do it. And then th this is gonna sew on a regular machine? I'm gonna sew this on a regular machine. Really? Do you need like a, do you use a heavy duty no noodle? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna drop our needle. We're gonna make sure we're not bumping that wire. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go real slow. Have you ever uh, sewed the wire? Absolutely. That's so what keeps me humble. We're going to put a head size ribbon in it and then we are going to decorate it, which is called trimming in hat making. So, do you know what size you are? 
Um, the average? <laughs> Perfect. Okay. You know, I was going to say the Manzuras family has really big melons, uh, <laughs> but I think I have an average size head, really. Awesome. Okay. All right, well, let's do it. Using regular pins. Yep, no wonder clips this time, sadly. So we're going to go slow. So you never do the back stitch at the beginning, you just go with it. Just go with it. So this is what the inside of the hat, this is done. This is done. This is a finished hat. This is a finished and hat. And do, does the brim always stay down, or how, does, no. how do you do it? Sometimes I like to trim it and then see how everything kind of falls in place. Okay. So let's trim it first, and let's then we'll see if it. that brim wants to snap up. Okay. Okay, so we have our outside ribbon going around the circumference. So I love this. This is fabulous. Thank it's a you. wonderful embellishment. You've got the ribbon. I've got a needle and thread for you. Do we yeah, just stitch this on? Oh, we are. So I kind of like the placement there. I love the placement. Perfect. Can you ever glue the embellishment on? Would you rather? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I gasp? <laughs> did I say glue? Okay. <gasps> and there she has it. There she has it. <gasps> I think it wants to go up a I little. I think it wants to go up too because this May is so, Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Jane. How does it look? It's gorgeous on you. Let's see. How does it look? Thanks to Laura. Now we all know how to make a classic fedora. And that's what Laura is making in her craft room. What are you making in your craft room? I'll see you later. It's just amazing. Oh, just gorgeous on you. Oh, and hey, don't forget, happiness is handmade because a blue moon only happens once in a blue moon. Have you ever seen a blue moon? Never. Uh, no? no? I think this hat would look good in the blue moonlight. Yeah. It would. <laughs>